Okay, so what are we working on today? 1972. 72. Z90. Z90. AMF Harley. AMF Harley. Yeah. Oh my gosh, I'm used Qual to quality builds. Quality yeah, builds. I'm used to working on those 1970s Hondas. This is this is some high quality little butt weld back there, and oh my gosh, you've done a good job so far. So this is a little two-stroke 90 cc. Little two-stroke 90 cc. Cool. That. Well, gosh, you've got shined up on really nice already. Slick. So, what's your plans? My plans to put her back together now. Yeah, I mean, today, wire it in, today see if it's got spark. Cool. So, I think we're planning on making a, some gas tank graphics today. To we're going to do some Evil Knievel theme on this. Match your, match your shirt. Yeah. Cool. I said we just go into town and we'll grab some vinyl, some red, white, and blue, and maybe some gold. We'll make it. Match your little helmet there. <laughs> this is gonna be so cool. Oh, so you got the big vinyl cutter, the big version of what I got. You got the big dog here. Wow, is that like 36 inches? Wow, I've only got the 14 inch wide one. Nice. Mine's bigger than yours. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna like these kind of videos because I don't have to do any work. This is fantastic, or spend any money. Can I have the swing arm off your fat cat? I've got a, I've got a plan, something I wanna build. Um, yeah, $17,500. Okay, deal. It's All right, so we're just going to take the air can that you already painted, and we'll go into town. We'll match this blue. Sounds match good. blue. We'll get some gold. Yeah, I don't think they're going to have, like, gold flake like they have, uh, like I put on my Excelsior, or that's on that helmet. But... Be nice. We'll check. Yeah, we'll see. All the Oracle. You know, what, you know why I, li I like to go to Michael's and Hobby Lobby? For the chicks. Oh, yeah. yeah, all the home grandmas and great grandmas. It's great. Yeah. So yeah, I would just take that, Let's darker see. than that, darker than that. That's a little too purpley. Yeah, it's on on sale too. I'm gonna pick some up myself. We got gold. Yeah, just regular metallic gold. Cricket might have some really some neat stuff, but there's your gold if you want to just try that, or you can just get one sheet if you want just a little bit. But for the price they got it for you, might six bucks, might as well do that. This stuff here, I think the print, Cricket Premium is fine out there. Ooh, there's a interesting, interesting one. Yeah, that might be it right there. Did you? Yeah, it's on sale too. While I'm at it, I'm gonna get some T-shirts and make some gifts for some folks that I'm gonna go see next weekend. Top secret. What color would they like? Red, obviously. All right, we got some shirts. Mm, like a cost about a buck fifty, a buck fifty of worth of shirts. Hope folks like them. I'm gonna be busy all weekend making these things. Okay, so what were you thinking? You wanted to have? We're thinking like a star. Blue striped on the middle with some red outline on it and some star, 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 star. Yeah, I'm thinking. This would be a lot easier on this one because the. Gas fillers in the middle of the tank, not offset like on my XL that I just did. Yeah, it'd be a piece of cake. Maybe like number one over here with the Harley and Evil Knievel up at the top. I think that'd be slick. Hey, buddy. How you doing? That's a good looking dog right there. What do you think? What do you think, buddy? Can you sit? Can you sit? That's what I'm talking about. How about Shake? Got that down yet? Not quite. Just a baby. Just a baby. All right, so we start from there. We want the stripe to be three and three eighths. Uh, about three and a quarter, actually. Three and a quarter to that point. All right, just like that. Looks good to me. So that will run down the length of there. Lovely. Okay, I'd say just go, load, go ahead and load up the blue and we'll cut this, this, and this first. Take care of the rest in a bit. All right, so after that stripe is out of there, load up probably the red and then make the outside stripes. And while you're cutting the red, I will, we get this out if you got a little like exacto knife. Mm -hmm. While he's cutting that out, I'll only use the area around the stars for the blue. So I'll just trim out that. You don't have yourself like a hobby knife, you're gonna make me use this uh, caveman tool. I cannot find <laughs> hobby knives right now. All right. That little picking tool works good too. Oh yeah. Hmm. 
Nah, we'll be okay. Those look good. The black, we just need the outline and the uh, Herdley Dervidson word right there. So let's just do a little peeling. Are you sure you don't have a exacto knife? Dang, you must not use yours as much as mine. Your blades are a lot sharper. I need to get new blades on my cutter. This weed's so much nicer than mine. Let that guy do. Much, much nicer. That AMF looks like it was, it was put together by some real uh, AMFers. Oh, well, you got an X-Acto knife today. That is nice right there. Need like an overhead light. Yeah, we'll make do. Hold on, I can help you out. What's that? This light bar? Yeah. You died for your sins. <sighs> that light bar did die for our sins. <laughs> what do you think of this? <laughs> okay, now we're ready to get our onto right there. A little bit of glass cleaner. Now we'll position this where we want it. And we'll squeegee all the water out. Yeah, she's looking pretty hot the way she is right now. Just that on there. That's yeah, gonna be great. Hey puppy. How you doing buddy? So I'm thinking that red, I'm thinking that red's got to be a lot more narrow. It's going to look, it's going to merge into that. So I mean that maybe a quarter of an inch for that red that comes down. Yeah. I don't think could, I want to go too you thick know at cool. all. Since that's like outlined in black, like a black pinstripe. On know. the edge of that? I don't know. I think it'll look fine like this. That looks pretty sharp though. That all the way down there. And then the red pinstripe on the outside of it. Okay, solid piece. This should work much easier. You want to go to right, right over to Sturgis here on one of these weekends? Take this thing all, drive this thing all the way over to Sturgis? Well, yeah, why wouldn't you? Yeah. We're getting there. So you were saying Evil Knievel's first jump was on a Honda. It was on a Honda over a pit of snakes. Honda over a pit of snakes. <clears throat> yes. Tell um, me tell me the story. He owned a he was running a Honda dealership. Okay. And it was store store wasn't doing that great and he wanted to do a little something to get people in. Yeah. So obviously more than anything he was a salesman. And he decided that he would uh jump this jump this Honda over a pit of snakes. Like you do. Yeah. He went to jump that Honda over the pit of snakes and Did you make it? Uh, he fell in the middle of the pit of snakes, okay. and there were snakes everywhere, and people <laughs> were scattering. Are people were freaking out? People were freaking out and scattering. Sounds like fun. Yeah. Because, you know, if you're going to jump something, you might as well jump a 1965 Honda with two inches of clearance, if that. Mm -hmm. Two inches of travel. Excellent. Yeah, I'll check into that store. That's funny. I always thought he was a hardly guy. Actually, his first jump over Caesar's Palace was on the Triumph. See, that's what I, that's what I know. Is that the famous one that he just totally crashed over the fountains? That and... was the one where he crashed. Yeah. And then he uh, he only started the he only, only thing I know for, of Evil Knievel is from the Offspring video. Anyway, what, give us what? some more info about Evil Knievel. 
You ever see that? Uh, spe- uh, what's his name from Top Gear? The sh- the shorter guy, the short skinny guy. Richard Hammond. Richard Hammond. Richard Hammond, before Evil Can Evil died. Yeah. Went to like the year he died. It was like 2007. And there's a documentary out there you can watch with Richard Hammond going to Butte, Montana. But. To, to yeah, the Butt Montana to meet Evil for an interview. Okay. And uh, he interviews him. And he has his, they, they have the whole thing on in the interview, and at the end of it, you know, the whole time, Evil is kind of being a jerk. And even at the end, Richard Hammond is like, you know, he goes, this oh. guy was my hero. <laughs> and he goes, he is an absolute jerk. <laughs> uh, but by then, he was so beat up, I'm thinking. Oh, he, I'm sure he was just in hell. Well, I'm, I'm sure he was just, yeah, in hell, pain, all the time. And probably, you know, I'm I'm assuming that a certain number of head injuries probably changes your personality a bit. Yep. All right, so we're thinking a red pinstripe, leave about three sixteenths between the two. Sounds like a plan to me. Well, I'll just do this all by his hand. <laughs> this is looking great. Uh, that's good. That looks so good. Hey, we matched the glass cleaner. How cool is that? Yeah, I think we get the Evil Knievel signature right there. One last start on there. This is gonna be sharp, sharp, sharp. Oh, for the love of Pete, come on. Huh? Yeah, I've never used that Cricut metallic. We'll see how that turns out. Let's start. Well, this should look pretty cool when it's all said and done. Hopefully it weeds out. Did it on the Excelsior, but that was a, I think that was an Oracle. Metallic was thick. That was some thick stuff. Wow. Huh, not bad. This will do. <laughs> All right. Well, that's, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah. the game we're playing. Yeah, mess with you when I'm making a decal. So, what else about Evil Knievel? Tell me some stories. Huh? Oh, let's see. It's that Evil Knievel Museum. I'm trying to remember any stories from it. What they talked about. How about Robbie Knievel? Robbie Knievel has the craziest jump ever. Going over the Grand Canyon. That is just insane. Okay, well, throw the gold leaf on some transfer tape. Put it over the black outline. Throw it on the tank. You got any more evil can evil stories? <sighs> not, not sure. Not sure. Not sure. All right. I do have a couple of the evil can evil toys though. Yeah? Like what? The motorcycle with the, uh, what do they call that? Uh, the power thing, they called it a, uh, I can't remember what they called those, where you cranked it. Energizer or something, I think. Huh. Maybe the folks at home will know. Leave a comment. Everybody, everybody from my generation had one of those. Uh-huh. He had the, everybody had those. The Energizer, you crank it up, you have the motorcycle on there, it just tears off. All right, now let's just eyeball this up. <laughs> what do you think of that? Woo. Look pretty sharp. That's pretty good. Let's get it on the tank. All right. <laughs> this is going to look so cool. Think about right there. Higher. That's fine.
Okay, that is pretty fantastic. Oh, you gotta probably take it outside so we can see it in the sun. Mm -hmm. That is pretty hot. Yeah, turn it around, show, show it off. That is what I'm talking about, just don't drop it. Yeah, that turned out great. Stripe turned out great. Signature, let me see that, in the, let me see that shine in the sun, the, that gold leaf. Turn down a little bit, more horizontal. The other horizontal, there you go. Yeah, you got a winner. Let's go put it on the bike. <laughs> this is gonna look so cool. Yes sir, Bob. Man, oh man, I, hey, I, I think I'd ride that. Heck yeah, look at that little guy. <laughs> what do you think, folks? Pretty darn cool? I think so. I know it's not a Honda like I normally do, but it's a lot easier way of making a video. I don't, I don't have to spend any money and I don't have to work. Well, kind of this time, but yeah, this is going to be great. What do you think? Any Z90 fans or AMF fans out there? Let us know in the comments. But yeah, yeah, I'll come back over here when he's got the bike finished up. We'll get it running. We have that video in a handful of weeks. Not sure, but in the meantime, if you need some more Bigfoot Bikes and Brews content, you can click this video over here, or definitely you're gonna like this one over here, or spin on over the channel, subscribe. We'll see you around. Mm -hmm.